<laughs> How about you? I'm Hank. I've got a replacement part for my tractor that I consider the very first wear part that I've had to replace on my tractor. Uh, my TYM T574. And if you saw the video that I did with the hydraulic pressure video or some other videos, you've heard some squealing in the fan belt. So I've got a new fan belt uh, for the T574, so we're gonna put that on today. The part number is EA00005549A as an apple, or alpha. It's a V-belt and uh, one each here. If you notice, it's got the Branson uh, logo on it, but you know, it's a belt, but like I say, uh, we'll see how many hours my tractor has on it I think it's like 373 375, but I'll give you the exact hour when we get over there in just a sec But anyway, this is the first wear item that I've had to put on there and uh, I think that you know, it's squealing pretty bad when you're doing about 2500 rpm somewhere around in there when you go up to PTO speed, it actually starts to squeal. So let's go It shouldn't take me five minutes to put this thing on so we'll go and get the tractor. I'll tell you how many hours it's got on it and get it replaced. It should be just as simple as loosening one bolt on the alternator, sliding it, you know, to get the tension off the belt, putting the new belt on, buttoning it back up. Now you want about, if you look at the owner's manual, you want about a half inch play on that belt. And so we'll make sure that we get that as well. So let's go and there's the tractor fired up. Let's see how many hours is on it. Alright, come on. 374.2. So it's 374.2 hours and I'm having to do my first um, wear item. up there for safety that way it don't fall on my head but let's run these rpms up let me let you hear the squealing I imagine y'all heard that pretty good if you didn't it, it uh it was pretty loud so let's run this bad boy off here get her opened up i think it's a 12 millimeter on the alternator there pretty easy to uh, access there and let me just look at the routing so there's actually two belts on it. I just assumed it was this one. <laughs> but I mean it's only three it only goes around three pulleys, so it should be pretty easy to take on and off. So it goes around the alternator pulley, the crank pulley, and then this tensioner, I guess it would be here. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard. I'll take this bolt loose here and give you a better shot. I'll take this bolt loose here, and this bolt loose here, and uh, slide the alternator in, get the belt off, put it around the fan, and go from there. Shouldn't take long at all. Just grab my little socket set here. For some reason, I think it's a 12. It might be bigger than that. Let's see. Maybe it's a 13. Okay, it's a 14. Or is it a 9 16? Let's see. They both fit okay, so we'll go with the 14.
I don't need that swivel on this one, but I might need it on the bottom one. You don't have to remove these, you just have to loosen them. Golly. Right. Try this bottom one here. Maybe the bottom one you need a swivel. The belt's in the way. Nah, you don't. You don't need a swivel. You just have to move the belt out of the way to get to it. One way or the other. Yeah, that's no big deal. And then what I like to do is drop the the socket down here where you can lose it. That's always fun. Now that I got loosened up, I'm going to take a pry bar and just move that over. Just loosen it up a little bit. Just pick anywhere to kind of get the slack off of it, you know. You got plenty of room to get it down in there to get it loose. Alright, take the new belt, and hope it's the same one, I hope I ordered the right one, it should be, I don't know, let's see, we'll just kind of weave it through the fan here. Get on the other side. I think I kept saying alternator earlier. That's not the alternator. This is not the alternator. I think I was saying that earlier. Oh, I got the wrong belt. I got the wrong belt. Well, let's just make sure. I'll go ahead and replace both belts. But uh, let's just make sure that this is the belt that was squealing, you know? No, I need to, re I guess I need to replace the, the alternator belt or the V-belt or whatever it's called. Let's put this new belt on, see if that stops the squealing. Then we'll put this old belt back on or I might have to order a new a new belt new one of these because this belt is not the same size as the which is okay because it might not been the belt that was all right, no big deal let's take the other belt off same process you just loosen up the alternator this time the alternator for real and go from there so your alternator bracket is over here you know what so you have a little bolt here. Let's see it right there. And then that bracket slides for your alternator. And then you take that belt off. Same process. This one is a 12. The other one was what a 14. So this one's a 12. Slap that back down there. Push them up like so. Give you some room to work. Take the old belt off. Pull it here. Let me give me. And you'll go around the fan and the crank. All right, got the second belt off. It it ain't hard by any stretch of the imagination. You just gotta finagle it. So let's see if indeed it's the same size as the new one. Yeah. So that's the belt. That's the belt we need to replace. And then I'll order the um, accessory belt, I guess you would call it, for the other one. So let's put the new one on. You can say you can see where I tried to spray some uh, belt conditioner on it. That stuff don't work. You know, it just makes the it makes the squeal go away just for a little bit. But you got to wrap this over the fan and then weave it back onto there. But so. You know, you're going to, if you got big hands, it might be a little challenging for you, but you can get it just hang in there.
All right, let me get this back on and I'll get right back to you. What I had to do for this uh, this pulley is I had to put the, I had to get a heavy duty pick and kind of slide it down in there. But other than that, it's okay. Now I'll just adjust the tension on the alternator here. Check that and be good to go. Put the other belt back on and call it good. These are, again, these are 12 millimeters. Here's the correct tension. For those of you that's been paying attention, I actually did take this off. And uh, I'll put it back on now. It was 12 millimeters as well. But you can start the bolts here. And then the, it, it's got slide on grooves that you can tighten them up later with. Like a heat shield of some sort. All right, so now let's put this back on. So this is back on. Get her tightened down. Snug as a bug in a row. And we will be good to go with this belt. And then we'll just put the other belt back on. Now that she's put back together, let's just see if that indeed stopped the squealing before we... I mean, we're going to put the other one back on regardless, but let's just see if that stopped the squealing. All right, let's throttle it up. All right, that was our problem. So now the that belt is good to go. Now let's just put the air conditioner belt back on there, accessory belt or whatever they call it, and hopefully it don't squeal. <laughs> Let me get started on that. That belt was a little easier to put on. All right, let's see. Hopefully that don't squeak as, as well. So again, about a half inch or so on the play. And we should be good to go. Okay, I still may replace that one just to keep the belts, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for, you know, together, the freshness of the belts together, so another uh, 100 hours or so, I won't have to replace one when I got that one, but they'll go, hopefully if they go bad at the same time, you know, I can just replace both of them at the same time and be done with it. You need a 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter, pretty simple job, it's just nitnoid stuff it gets in your way you know what i mean it's, there's nothing challenging about the job 
but you got to get your hands in some tight spaces and stuff like that. But uh, a little wear and tear item, no big deal. Um, you know, it happens. 300, what did we say? 372, 373 hours. Um, let me get this right for you. 374.3. So 374 hours, I'm replacing the first uh, alternator belt. Anyway, pretty simple job. Do it yourself. Uh, I ordered the belt on like, uh, I don't know, like a Monday or Tuesday. It got here on like a Friday. So no big deal there. And uh, it was an uh, easy job. You can do it yourself and uh, have fun doing it. 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter. If you want to see another area of my tractor that I work on, click on this video right here. It's pretty awesome. Take care. God bless you guys. I'll see you.